Hi there, welcome. My name is Jason, and tonight I'm going to show you how to tie together your own smudge stick. Uh, the materials I have right now are I just I just harvested some incense cedar right here, and then I have some it's some lavender and some white sage. Uh, and so I'm going to use these components uh, together to make uh, a wonderfully fragrant smudge stick. Uh, I also have um, some organic hemp string that's been coated in beeswax. What I really love about this is that it burns cleaner than like, you know, a dyed uh, yarn or fabric string. Uh, this is, you know, organic hemp and beeswax. And so it burns, um, because of the bee wax, it burns slower, it's not as fast burning, which I feel is like a little bit of an added safety feature when it comes to, uh, you know, something that you're burning. Um, I always recommend, you know, using a bowl and extreme caution at your own risk. Uh, as far as when you decide to light a smudge stick, um, always, always, um, you know, take, a, you know, caution. Don't, you know, go and smudge and then run out of the house. I'm always, you know, want to make sure, like, no cinders, like, went anywhere. I try to catch them in the bowl and just be very safe about it. Anyways, uh, as far as the, um, tying this together, so I have this, uh, organic hemp string with the wax, and this also really helps for tying it. Um, so I'm just starting with the short piece that I'm going to use to hang it, and also tie the top. I like to use these wire cutters because I feel like they kind of clamp the wax and the hemp down together, sealing the end. And so, um, I have our cedar, and I just kind of, I have the instant cedar, I take a branch, and I, I fold it in, and then I just do a sprig of lavender and our white sage. And this is going to be the top of the smudge stick. So I'm just going to peel those leaves off and I'm going to tie the top of the smudge stick. I'm going to try to make these even right here just once. You don't really even have to double knot this because the wax like really holds this knot together when you tie it. And so this is what's going, uh, where the stick is going to hang while I have it drying. And I just cut the top of it off into this little bowl where I have some trimmings. And then, all right. So I'm just going to unwind this hemp. Just get a good, a good length of string that you can work with. And then I have this additional leaf. You can tie them decoratively in. Uh, so I'm going to make another knot at the top where we started our smudge stick. Just, you know, one and two. And as you can see there, that's a tight knot. This wax and the hemp together really secure this knot. Oops, my wire cutters, whoops. All right, and so I like to kind of have some white sage going down the center in the back. So I'm just going to start winding this clockwise around the smudge stick. I'm gonna kind of angle down and then just go around. And you're not gonna catch every single leaf the first time you go around. Um, or just at all. <laughs> um, I actually, um, I double up and come back down the stick. And then just kind of tighten it as you go around. And you're not really going to go to the very, very tip of the smudge stick because you're going to cut that off. So as you can see, we have the lavender, the sage, and the cedar meeting kind of there where I'm going to cut it. So now I'm going to unravel some more of this string, and then I'm going to come back around the opposite direction. And this will help you catch some more of those leaves that are sticking out of your smudge stick. And then at the top, I'm just going to go a couple times around the top. And then I'm going to cut another piece of this. I see one of these is a little short, so what I'm going to do is tie this again at the top. I just double knot it, and then I cut that off. 
of these together, make sure they're even. And then as far as the front, I am just going to remove the end because this is where we're going to begin burning this smudge stick when we're ready to do that. And you can just compost whatever clippings you don't use. And, oh my gosh, that just smells amazing. Um, so yeah, so here you go. This is your smudge stick. And what I'm going to do is hang it in a place where it gets some sunshine uh, for a couple weeks. And um, I have this string at the top to do so. And uh, yeah, that'll all dry out. Um, and for whatever reason, it's too cold and your smudge stick is not drying out um, in an ideally quick way. Um, I even have a dehydrator I can set them on top of and just kind of rotate them. Uh, but not completely necessary. You should just be able to hang these and, and let them dry naturally on their own. Um, it's completely up to you. Um, and so here I have a little pile that I've already um, put together and I'm just like building on that. They won't all be exactly the same size. I just can't kind of aim for them to be similar in size, um, but they kind of all take on in a personality of their own. Uh, but yeah, these are really, really um, awesome to have. Uh, they smell wonderful. Um, any questions about putting them together that you might have, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. And once again, thanks for hanging out. My name is Jason. Thanks again.